So this is our Santa table runner. Um, as you can see, the background panels are made of two separate pieces of fabric. So I've cut them, pre-cut them already. So here I have the top background panel, and in this case it's blue. And this red piece is the bottom of the background panel, which will form Santa's shirt. So what I need to do is to connect them together. So to do that, I'm going to cut two pieces of fusible webbing. Um, I'm going to cut it about three eighths of an inch wide and uh, one and a quarter inches long. And I'll cut two, one for either side. So they're going to be attached to where Santa's shoulder on his shirt would be. So I'm just going to cut that now. Doesn't have to be exact. And it just has to be wide enough to fit across his shoulder there. So a little bit shorter. There. So cut the two the same. Okay. What I need to do is attach them. So I'm just going to position them onto where his shoulder would be on the reverse side of the fabric. So we'll put this onto our ironing mat. We just have to feel this now. This is the so you can see that's that's long where your shoulder line would be on a shirt. Other piece, so this is the second piece of fusible webbing. Just attaching that along the line. Press down with an iron for hot iron for 30 oh, about 20 seconds. I'll do it a bit shorter, it doesn't need to be that long really. Okay, so we've got that there. So that should have leave the glue residue on there. So now I need to lay this piece of fabric, this bottom piece, onto what's going to be the top piece of the panel. Um, I just have to let the, the midsection meet, just meet where the raw edges are together, like so. Make sure that seam lines are together, so it's just across where that juts out there. And you can see this has made one whole background piece ready for Santa's face to be applicated onto. So I'm just going to give that a press. My hot iron. So there's been no stitching involved in doing this. This part you can just do with the fusible webbing. And that, that'll be ready. That's just joined there temporarily. So when then when you do the Santa's face in the next steps, it will come over and it'll all be attached with the stitching. Hi, I'm Alison Nash from So Sweet Pea. I hope you really enjoyed our video today. We also have a great blog with lots of information and great articles. So please check it out.